Hello everyone, Russell Wright from ThemeZoom.com and NetworkEmpire.com. Today we're going to release to the general public the third-party online multi-channel categories interactive PDF created by ThemeZoom architect Sue Bell. And the reason we're releasing this is to prepare everyone for the brand new release of the Silo SEO plugin that interacts directly with Domain Web Studio as an upstream service and helps you instantly select the best keywords, most profitable keywords in the appropriate hierarchy, and then instantly publish them to your blog. Now we've had a prototype of this plugin out for the last year or so. Now we have a new and improved version coming very, very soon. So we want you to be on your toes and ready for that. One of the reasons that we're releasing this third-party online integration platform is that we want you to understand how much power Network Empire provides. So let's just go ahead and go through the distinction that Sue has created for everybody. And that'll really give you an idea of how we view online third-party platforms. Now, when you link on the map below, if you're looking at this on our blog, you'll be able to click on any one of these promotional circles and it's gonna take you to our wiki definition of how we view these various uh, topics. So there's promotional, there's conversational, and of course after conversational, there's branded and local, and there's media in its raw form. Now my focus currently is dealing with media in its raw form because we're moving forward with the next version of Network Empire, creating a multimedia personal and corporate branding system that's pretty instantaneous. It'll actually automatically generate multiple media files and distribute them automatically using our services. And this has been the end game task of the Network Empire software. But let's start up with the promotional directories. When we're talking about promotional, we're talking about article directories, third party blog articles and press releases. We do consider those prom promotional. We're also talking about microblogging, which you get, we get into specifically so that you understand what microblogs are really about. Conversational third-party online platforms are called, we consider to be social groups, social networks, social profiles, anything out there where there's a lot of, generally speaking, one of the, deter, one of the defining factors of a social group or conversation is when there's not huge amounts of substance, meaning you're not publishing an entire article. You either have uh, somewhere between 46 and 150 characters, depending upon the social media, and you have very little time to get your point across, uh, the use of Facebook memes or LinkedIn links, these types of things, okay? So conversation is an ongoing non-static event in which people are going back and forth, having conversations, and and really very small snippets or chunks of information is available. Branded and local, we're talking about local business directories, business citations, web directories, okay? Everybody's trying to get themselves on the seven, what used to be the seven pack in Google now for local directories. We also have, I mean, for local rankings. We also have major changes going down in Google right now. And Sue and I are going to release a new webinar talking about all the changes that are happening. Also, you might notice if you type in something like Google restaurants or restaurants city, whatever city you're in, you'll notice a slider flash I think it's a, it's not flash, but it is a slider at the top of the search engine results page with all the restaurants listed in this giant string and an interactive uh, kind of banner. This is the way things are going and Google has completely changed the way they're dealing with pay-per-click on a massive scale, both internationally and nationally. They're even getting rid of cost per click in the old mechanism and only going to provide you with one general cost per click mechanism. This is huge stuff and beyond the scope of this video, but I want you to know how all of it's working, okay? Now keep in mind that we do have overlaps here. Like for example, customer reviews is kind of overlapping between conversational blogging and branded local. My friend and I looked at a restaurant in our local town here, and we were just looking at some of the conversations happening, and the opinions of the people who had been to the restaurant just glared out at us, and it was a customer review, and those customer reviews did affect what we thought about the restaurant when we went to the restaurant. Okay, so this is the changes. This is the change that is coming down with Google, and the overlap between conversation and branded local and customer reviews is very thin. So I, I like how we've put the overlap with customer reviews in here because a lot of Facebook, if you look at Facebook and some of these other 
uh, kind of micro blog platforms and social platforms, uh, customer reviews and customer support more and more is starting to take place on these platforms. And Zendesk, which is a customer support follow-up system, is starting to work with that. There's also white papers and commercial. Okay, commercials. Okay, this is kind of a combination between media and branded local. So let's go ahead and look at the definition of um, specifically zoom into the definition of media. Media used in a money blog or a money site, which is I also call your trans your transaction site. These posts should be widely distributed on third-party platforms. Okay, okay, any media which is video audio, PDFs like the one listed below. Uh, this video is embedded into actually several dozen of our blogs, but also our main WR1 blog. So again, the media is important and actually media is the end game uh, for Network Empire. Well, we'll just take one particular type of medium and distribute it and change it into several different kind. Okay, and this does speak to what's changing in PR is media enhanced, media enhanced press releases and articles. And this is a very important change that's happening. PR is not the way that it used to be. And you have to include both audios and videos in some of these uh, types of layouts. Okay, So this is a little bit about how DWS Pro is going to help you um, deal with all of these uh, promotional, conversational, branded, and media layers. Okay, If you want more information, all you've got to do, let me just show you. All you need to do is click directly on a particular item and it'll take you over to our wiki where we, we will keep updated. We will keep updated information on our wiki for each one of these. So if you want to know more about conversational third-party platforms, we'll talk to you about how that interacts with other software. We'll even talk about how it relates to the way that you should use the current version of Domain Web Studio. Domain Web Studio is really, could also be called a perpetual socially activated one web ring silo SEO blog empire builder. You can use it for multiple blogs, you can use it for social interaction, you can use it to execute on the advanced version, you can use to execute a large uh, team. And that large team can then uh, provide the content and execute on a large scale. So we hope you enjoy using the software. Please do visit us at networkempire.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. As a member, I will also leave the link below at networkempire.com forward slash members area, where even non-paying members can look and see the uh, giant array of courses that we have that show you how to use our amazing enterprise softwares. Russell Wright from networkempire.com, signing off.